Good evening. Right now the students are wrapping up dinner and they're getting right to work. They're about to hear from Arizona Congressman Juan Siscomani. This week-long program is designed to give these students all sorts of leadership skills that they can apply in the classroom and beyond. There we go. This is for you. The students started checking in at Phoenix Sky Harbor around 7 a.m., including Liz Castaneda. It's chaotic. It's so much fun seeing like all like everybody. It's going to be super fun, I'm sure. She'll be a junior at Westview High School, one of 40 high schools on the trip. And for her, it's an especially meaningful occasion. Have you ever been on a, a plane before? No. I think I'm more nervous for the takeoff because like in the movies or like just people telling me it's just like the bumpiest part of it. So that's what I'm afraid of. And you're about to embark on an unforgettable journey to our nation's capital. Governor Katie Hobbs and the Arizona Cardinals teamed up to organize this all expenses paid journey. They hand selected about 275 kids from Title I schools across five Arizona counties to tour museums and memorials and meet lawmakers. Team owner Michael Bidwell launched the concept three years ago. Learning civics, it's not it's not taught in our schools as much anymore, and so we, we put together a statewide civics competition uh, like the statewide spelling bee to really encourage kids to look at the rules of our, of our, our counties, our cities, our state, and our federal government and to see how they can interact with it and become better citizens as they grow up. They picked the winning students from an essay contest. Soon, it was time to board the buses, head to the Arizona Cardinals team plane. Bidwell says the flight on the Boeing 777 is the relaxing part. Once they land, they'll have long days of lessons and workshops with the nonpartisan Close-Up Foundation. The Close-Up Foundation works these kids really hard, so they're up at night debating tough issues, uh, deliberating, and learning how to go through that public process of policy development. Liz is just making sure she takes it all in. I did not download any movies, any music, so I'm probably just going to like enjoy the view and if not, go to sleep. <laughs> Tomorrow, the students will be visiting the Jefferson Memorial, the FDR Memorial, and the MLK Memorial. They'll also be heading to the steps of the U.S. Senate to hear from U.S. Senator Mark Kelly. We'll be there every step of the way with reports at 4 o'clock. In Washington, I'm Derek Stahl for Arizona's Family.